in the UK when you've got bigger budgets, it's quite common to have a producer and an engineer, and the engineer is the person that sits at the desk with all the outdoor gear and all the lights and bells and whistles, and they call tones, which is all the sounds. They have an assistant getting paid shit all for 12 hour days, putting mics where they tell them to, patching it all in. They work the desk, the producer then basically signs on or off the sounds, like that's cool, no, I'll work on that a bit more. That's a typical record company situation. In Australia, even with some record company <coughs> budget bands, they don't, the budget doesn't extend far enough. Or, or, sorry, let me rephrase. The budget works if you want a producer and an, and an engineer, if you want to record in a week. Because the money will be gone after a week. So why it's harder to assume in, in this country is because most producers have to engineer. Because otherwise they don't make enough money to make a living. So they have to pull tones, they have to be good at both. And I don't actually know many producers that can't pull some sounds. They can at least pull basic tones. They might get a mate to help them out and share a bit of love with them in terms of cost. But in Australia, there's kind of this big blurry line between an engineer and a producer. But all I would, it's more like I'll just give you something to think about. Uh, an engineer, for me, is someone that is technically approaching what you do trying to capture what they hear in the room where you guys are playing live, you're trying to capture that on the Pro Tools, on the tape, radar, whatever they're using. That, that's to me as an engineer, and a good engineer translates that really efficiently and really accurately. A producer is listening on a much broader and further down the track level than that. Um, and sometimes for you guys, in terms of your budgets, it's actually cheaper and more afford affordable at first anyway to just get a really good engineer and just put out a few kind of average recordings so you learn your shit before you go and spend, you know, 15, 20 grand or something like me where you, it's just going to be too much work to get you to a point where it's good enough, if that makes sense. Uh, so an engineer, someone that captures what you do, a producer is someone that helps you translate what you do and uh, can capture the personality of what you're all about. That's a long-winded explanation, I apologize. Did, did you guys have anything to add? Yeah, I want to say, uh, Caleb, I, I agree with that. Um, I was going to say as well that sometimes going to someone like Caleb, um, you know, can cut years of your journey, you know. You're going to somebody with a lot more experience, um, who's listened to a lot of music, heard a lot of bands, you know, dealt maybe at a higher level with radio stations and record companies. I mean, instead of going in, making this little recording, that little recording. I mean, that can be good as a learning process, but you can come straight in. The producer can tell you, hey, guys, this chorus isn't, really isn't working. This arrangement isn't working. This thing you're doing on guitar is real, is real 80s. You know, this sort of objective advice um, is very, very hard to come by. I think if I was to categorize what makes a producer so valuable as somebody that's going to give you objective advice about your music. and you know, you're not going to get that from friends or family or whatever. If you are, it doesn't really come from a position of knowledge, you know. And um, I guess the best thing about a producer is they've dealt with many bands in your position. <coughs> they've seen who's out there. They know what's getting signed. They know what's getting on the radio. And they can see where you are. They can see where you could be. And I guess they can, you know, fill in the gaps. And um, I guess I think my role when I'm producing a band is, you know, to see where they are, talk about where they want to be and, and do whatever's necessary to to make that. And like Caleb mentioned, and often that does come down to project management. That can be like um, just working out the egos of the band. I mean, I've had lots of times where, you know, there's a lead singer um, that's got a particular thing and he wants to write all the songs, but it's actually the guitarist that's coming up with the great hooks, but he's not getting his songs out. You know, so there can be like psychology involved in, you know, realigning the band and how they work. You know, likewise, sometimes, um, you know, there's drummers and bass players that, you know, sort of dip their hand in too much, you know, take democracy too far, when realistically they should just be doing their part, letting the songwriters do their thing. So, you know, it, it's basically everything involved from, you know, a rough demo to, um, to the finished product, whatever that might be. And... That comes down to getting a snare sound, it comes down to, you know, telling the guitarist to pull his head in, you know, whatever it is. That's what being a producer is, I guess.